Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight, and this is less of a kind of teaching about astrology video and more a sharing of some insight that came to me over the weekend. And it feels important. So um, I will sort of go with my intuition and I'm being sort of called to share this. Um, but basically, if we look at the chart at the moment, um, this kind of got going on the new moon last week in Capricorn and the sort of the feeling and the energy has been building since. But this particular week, between yesterday and Saturday the 20th, we have got a Capricorn stellium in the chart. So the Sun and Mars and Pluto are already in Capricorn. Mercury joined them yesterday. So we have this stellium which puts a great big focus on the Capricorn energy. Um, now, Capricorn is an Earth sign, it's cardinal Earth, so this is about grounding, but it is also about grounding the spiritual into the physical, because Capricorn being at the top of the chart um, really acts and serves as a bridge between the two between the two realms between our spiritual selves and our physical selves and what i've been feeling really strongly especially since the new moon is that it is absolutely crucial right now and i'm talking about this week specifically i mean this goes all the time but it feels really important this week to ground our energies and to get into our bodies to become fully embodied. Um, now, the Capricorn stellium is going to help us with that. Um, but it is really important, especially for star seeds and light workers and people who kind of regard themselves to be higher frequency souls. And the reason for that is um, that, and again, this was something that came to me over the weekend in the middle of a work a meditation class that I was in and I've been really fortunate because I did a yoga workshop on Saturday I did a meditation class on Sunday and I have been getting up and joining an online sadhana group um day two today I'm going to try and carry that on and um, that's a morning sort of yoga class that I do so um for me I've had lots of opportunities to step into my body and I guess this is why where the kind of um the download is coming from. Um, but as star seeds and higher frequency souls, being in a physical body is not our natural state, you know, unless there's lots of sort of more physical galactic fixed stars in your chart, the chances are, you know, your natural state, our natural state is more of a light body. And especially sort of living and existing in a higher um, dimension. So the density in this 3D round that we are in our physical bodies is quite um different to what we are used to and it doesn't feel natural it doesn't feel comfortable and as a result we often feel like you know we don't belong we want to be somewhere else you know these physical vessels just it it, does, it doesn't seem to work quite as we'd like it to um and, you know, that's normal. That is natural. And also there's been a sense as well that it hasn't always felt safe to be fully in the body. Um, you know, it's, yeah, it's very easy to kind of wish you were elsewhere and to sort of travel around the stars um, and, you know, go off, <laughs> try, well, try and get off and use lots of ways to escape the reality that we are in but what was coming through really strongly for me over the weekend and since the new moon is that it is absolutely imperative um that as star seeds we come fully into the body now because this is the time and actually we cannot bring the new energies through um effectively unless we are fully in our body and I had this kind of image of putting on a seat belt when you put the um the seat belt in and it clicks it's clunk click fully in fully secure that is kind of what we are trying to achieve we have to come fully in to the body because it is only by being fully in the body that the energies can come through um to the extent that they need to and it feels really important that this happens now because when the Sun and Pluto shift into Aquarius at the weekend, the 
air energy is going to really step up. And although we will have Uranus and Jupiter still in Earth, Uranus in Taurus is not a particularly stable Earth energy. Um, so we are really going to have this air um, sort of um, element stepping forward and that means speed that means things are going to move really quickly and it is going to be harder to ground to center to be present and um, my feeling is that you know a lot of stuff is going to happen really quickly we don't know what necessary that is going to be but it is all part of things shifting and changing really quickly so a lot more people can wake up and so the more centered and grounded we are in ourselves, the more it's going to help us cope with the changing energies because it won't affect us so much. Obviously, I'm speaking particularly to empaths here who are very sensitive to their surroundings and energies of their environment and of the people. This is particularly for you. And I speak for myself because I can relate to that. Um, but also, if we are centred and balanced and um, grounded, not only are we able to bring the energies down, so that they can come fully through because that's what's needed now. But we will then be holding the space for other people who maybe don't have an understanding of what is going on and who might um, be feeling really bewildered, really lost, really confused. If we can ground our energy in, then we are we are basically like light, lighthouses. We are holding that space for others. And obviously, you know, when you are in a certain state, you send out a vibration and a frequency that other people can align to and match. Um, so really, really important, um, you know, and it feels like it may have been difficult in the past for, um, you know, star seeds to be fully in the body and, you know, said it doesn't feel comfortable. The energies haven't been compatible. It's been felt really icky and um, it's just not felt right. Um, but my feeling is and over the weekend is that the energies are getting to a certain level now where it is easier to do that so however you choose to ground your energy whether it's through yoga whether it's through dancing whether it's through walking whether it's just being out in nature you know it's not a great time of year for gardening or doing the allotment but you know getting into the mud into the earth the grass bare feet if you dare or you can you're lucky if you're in the southern hemisphere um but yeah, just um, yeah, that movement, that breath work, um, wearing colours, using grounding crystals, grounding essential oils, um, you know, eating grounding foods, making sure your food is healthy, root vegetables are great as well. So there's lots of ways you can ground your energy in. But now is the time. That's what I was getting really, really clearly. And um, if you can start to really connect with what it feels like to be fully in your body, it's important that you create that cellular memory because we're going to need it. Um, this eight energy coming through with the 2024 and the eight universal year is really significant because the eight, among other things, and I have done a video about the energy of the eight in relation to 2024, that is in the video that I will link below. Um, but it is about balance. It is about bringing things, bringing the energies into a balance um, so that we can start to meet more in the middle. Now, four star seeds and higher frequency souls, this means rather than being sort of in our heads out there, you know, out in the stars and the galaxies and of the universes, it means actually coming into the body. So becoming more grounded, becoming more embodied. For those who are maybe less aware of their spiritual selves, who are maybe much more, um, sort of their world is very much the physical, the material realm, what they can see, what they can touch, um, their 3D reality. For those people, this year is going to be a year where they start to awaken more to the fact that they are spiritual beings and they will um being they will have more of a connection to their higher selves and um you know sort of a different understanding of who they are. So it is about, you know, it's important we we have to be both. If we're going to um live here in this realm, we have to bring the spiritual and the physical together we can't be too spiritual too way out there because that doesn't work that's i mean it's very nice <laughs> but um it doesn't work that's not what we're here for we are here to bring the energies down in and the only way um that we can do that is by being fully 
grounded and fully in. So putting that seatbelt in, clicking in and um, yeah, basically coming in, landing if you like. That's kind of what it feels like. And that is how we create the new earth. Um, now, one thing I just wanted to mention really quickly because I do an energy clearing, well, an energy check and an energy clearing service, which is listed on my website. But part of that is what I call cosmic soul retrieval. And I often find, um, and I'm guilty, well, not guilty, this happens to me a lot. But when I'm checking in with, with sort of star seed souls, um, I often find that parts of their soul um, are sort of not missing in action, but they're off doing other things. And when parts of your soul, the parts that are meant to be here, are off doing other things, it can lead, make, make you feel very disconnected, like something is missing, um, feel a bit lost, a bit confused. Um, and that, again, it's very common. It, it's almost normal. Um, but it feels like a time where we have to bring those missing parts back because we have to be in full i don't know how would you describe it we just have to be full <laughs> um fully us in order to get this kind of this job done this mission completed if you like it really does feel like that actually um and i use um a special sort of energy technique to bring those missing pieces back so if this is speaking to you and it feels like something that would help please do get in touch with me i will um I will probably offer it as a standalone rather than part of the whole energy um, check that I do. Um, but if this is speaking to you, please get in touch um, and I'll share some inf some more information. Because um, again, that just felt important to bring it up. And I, know I don't normally sort of plug my my work, so it's it's coming through for a reason. Um, but yeah, I hope. Um, <laughs> Don't, I don't really want to preach because it isn't, that's not what I'm here to do. But um, it feels like, yeah, this is the time to really just step into the body. And um, yeah, it's important. So I hope that has helped you. Um, please share, you know, if you've noticed, I mean, it's so unusual for me to get up at six in the morning and do sadhana. So I know something's going on. I'm getting a real big push to ground myself so um yeah i think if this is speaking to you please do share and let me know because um we are all connected and quite often you know things that are happening for me are happening to many of us so thank you so much for watching if you've got this far and um i look forward to sharing more with you soon <laughs>